Anyone who's been watching this channel before has no doubt seen me interact with Incurs from a Linux machine quite repeatedly, uh, usually from the CLI, occasionally through the web UI. Today I'm going to do something different and use a Mac. I'm Stefan Kriber, I'm the project leader of Linux containers and one of the Incurs maintainers. So this is my M Mac M4 mini, it's running in my basement, I'm just accessing it remotely here and I want to play with Incus on it. So how do we do that? Well, the Incus command line tool is available on most operating systems. You can download that on macOS, on Windows, on BSD, on Linux. It's nice and easy, but it requires um, a running Incus server and the Incus server can only run on Linux. But the Inca server can run on ARM64 just fine. Uh, it's not limited to Intel CPUs. So when given a modern Mac, uh, we can run a virtual machine with Incus inside of it and then track with that from, uh, from macOS. You could do, go and do that by hand, or you can use a very convenient project called Colima to do that for you. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So on this Mac, I've got Homebrew already pre-installed and I'm just gonna go and install two packages. So Colima, just mentioned, and the Incus uh, command line client. Just giving that a few seconds to install and then we can go look at Colima. So the Colima start command is what's used to create a new virtual machine on the Mac that's meant to uh, run container or virtual machine runtimes. In this case, we're not going to want the default of Docker, we're going to want to run Incus. I also would like to bump the CPUs a bit from 2 to 4 and the memory from 2 gigs to 8 gigs. And now for the interesting part, this is an M4 Mac. M3 and M4 both support nested virtualization. So we can actually go and run virtual machines inside of that Linux virtual machine we're about to be creating. For that, we need to turn it on. So it's the nested virtualization flag. And I've also found that I usually need to make sure that the VM type is VZ uh, so that it doesn't try to use QMU. With that, it's going to go and create a VM first uh, using a pre-built image. And then it's going to configure Incurs inside the VM and on macOS so that they can communicate. That just takes a few seconds. And once that's done, we can run the Incurs CLI on the Mac and we can see it's talking to Incurs running in a VM. It's actually running a slightly older version of Incurs, Incurs 6.8, but we can fix that uh, by running Colima update with a typo. There we go. And that's going to just apply the package updates for Incurs inside of the VM. Once that's done, we should be running 6.11 both inside and outside the VM. You can also uh, use Colima SSH to get a normal shell inside the VM, at which point you can go and poke around anything you want, uh, including installing extra packages, doing updates, uh, changing system settings, etc. So this is done and the version is now 6.11. Now let's go and, and launch some stuff. So we're gonna do launch uh, Debian 13 as a container and then also as a VM. Here we go. And we can also look at how the setup has been done inside of uh, Colima. So what it did is it created a new remote called Colima inside of Incus and configured the client to default to it. It also added the Docker remote out of the box so that you can go and launch Docker images right uh, from the start. So I'm just gonna go and grab the Nginx um, application container from the Docker Hub and run it. There we go. On the storage front, it's, it's using uh, ZFS, which makes sense. That's probably the best option to run both containers and VMs. And on the network side, uh, it's created an Incus BR0 with a fixed subnet of 192.100.0.1. As you can see, NAT is enabled, so don't expect to really have any kind of uh, routing to that network, but um, the instances themselves can uh, communicate with each other. So if we go in there, 
can also access the outside world just fine. So that's from the container. We go inside the VM, same thing, and they can talk to each other just fine. Uh, should even be DNS. Yep. Uh, IPv4, IPv6 is working between the instances, IPv4 only going out from the instances to the rest of the world. And that's basically it as far as uh, just creating some stuff uh, on top of, well, in Incus running on top of Colima. As mentioned, you can use Colima SSH to get inside the VM and you can use normal commands to look around. Here we can see that Incus is installed using version 6.11 from the Zabli package repository. And one thing that's kind of interesting to see is that the UI was installed as well. That means that from the Mac, you can run Incus web UI and directly go and interact with the Incus UI if you'd rather do that. Uh, so that means getting to a VM and you can you know, interact with the, the console. You could try to download the Windows ARM64 desktop image and try to run that in there. Uh, or you know create more containers, more networks, just play around with the with the UI. It also means that you should be able to run the Terraform or OpenTofu uh, tooling directly on the Mac and use the Colima remote to to deploy on top of that Incus environment. So all in all, it's a very good integration. It's very easy to to get going. So anyone who's running on a Mac and wants to play with Incus, this is really a good option especially with the nested virtualization support that makes it possible to do so much more now that virtual machines can also be run in that environment. Obviously for that part, you do need an M3 or an M4 Mac. Um, for anyone who's looking at getting a Mac, I guess the baseline M4 Mac mini that I've got is reasonably cheap and a good option. It's pretty fast uh, and does support all of the nice virtualization features uh, to make this environment work really well. All right. Hopefully you liked this slightly different video looking at, uh, at Mac OS instead of a Linux environment. If you've got any questions about how to use this thing or how to tweak it, feel free to leave them down below uh, in the comment section or go on our community forum. On our community forum, there's also the author of Colima who tends to hang out there. So if you've got any suggestions, questions or anything related to Colima, that could be a good, a good place to ask. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.